Richard Deitch wrote about Apple, Amazon, and the Pac-12 in The Athletic on Monday and had some, you know, interesting tidbits to share out. Now, Deitch is as tied in on sports media as anybody, and his connections gave him some pretty compelling information. Uh, he stated that the potential partners that we've all talked about, Amazon, ESPN, Apple, etc., are all open to something with the Pac-12, but only at a certain price. Now, we've discussed this on the show multiple times. Uh, the Big Ten and SEC and, and NFL are must-haves. The Pac-12 fits alongside the G5s in this whole it-would-be-nice-to-have category, right? Now, here's the interesting nugget from that article. It said, uh, there is conceptual interest from the Amazon side for a Friday night Pac-12 football game. Why? Well, they can promote it during their Thursday night football franchise, and they would not be going up against the Saturday college football schedule. It would be another nice piece for Amazon's growing sports portfolio. But the price has to be right, and from what I understand, Amazon and the Pac-12 were far apart earlier this month regarding any kind of a deal. Now, that is, that's interesting. First, because Amazon wanting to get in on Friday Night Football isn't really what we expected. And second, because it sounds like Klyovkov is wanting way more money for a Friday night standalone from Amazon than what they're willing to pay. Uh, Deitch also questioned whether or not the Pac-12 Conference Championships could be parceled out, uh, which you know basically means selling them separately from the regular season package. Like ESPN and CBS do this with mid-major conferences during March Madness, uh, but would the Pac-12 really be willing to sell their championship games and tournaments separately? Like We haven't seen a P5 do that before, and, and before you guys start in on me, I know the Pac-12 is is nothing like a power anything right now. You guys leave me alone. All right. Uh, <laughs> it also mentions in the story, uh, and I'm going to read this straight from the article. It says, One industry source said ESPN had general interest in the Pac-12 and likely a Saturday 10.30 p.m. Eastern time window for football games, but with so many assets coming up for bid, NBA, college football playoff, NCAA championships, NASCAR, etc., and Disney in cost conscience mode, uh, there was no chance it was going to break the bank for Pac-12 inventory. Now, the first thing that I noticed in this, and I'll give you about two seconds to see if you noticed it too, okay? One, two. ESPN had general interest, and there was no chance it was going to break the bank. This That's past tense. If ESPN's out of the running, and this is the first that we've heard of that potential, then is, is it only Apple and Amazon that's left? Like, could Ion be the only linear option left, if that's even a real thing? If the only available options are streaming, like, that's got to be the death knell of the conference, right? Now, it, he also closes out the article with this. He said, if I was a consultant and the Pac-12 asked me what we should do, note, this is not happening, I would sign a short-term deal with ESPN and with one streaming service. The money will not make my college presidents happy, and George Klyovkov was hired to bring in a big money deal, uh, but I would play the medium-term market, trade dollars for exposure in the near term, and see where streaming versus cable is in, say, 2028. But here's the issue. What if that short-term ESPN deal is no longer an option? Like, this, this whole thing is just nuts to see play out. You toss all that stuff in with Dennis Dodd's latest article at CBS, uh, where you've got the former Oregon coach Mike Bellotti uh, saying, and this is quoted from him, he said, I have that impending sense of doom. All my life, I've always been a West Coast guy. I can just see the Pac-12 falling apart. Now, one aspect of this that was brought up in Dodd's article where he spoke with multiple former Pac-12 coaches is that going to streaming is going to kill recruiting in that conference. If people cannot see your games easily, most players are going to choose to play somewhere they can be seen. This this is an absolute cluster. And yes, I will admit to you, I am tired of it too. I absolutely am. Uh, but we got to stay on this stuff until something happens. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.